Nigel, the math says it's still possible on the final day, but that feels like a massive opportunity missed today, doesn't it? Yeah, of course, when we get to run up at half-time. Uh, give, give two very poor goals away today. Uh, difficult team to pick today, leaving Elliot Hewitt out. But we thought with Smith we had to uh, bring uh, Haw uh, Ollie Hawkins back in at centre-half, and he dealt with him generally very well indeed. But ultimately, we conceded two goals in the middle of our penalty area, middle of our goal. Uh, three headers and that's what's cost us a game. Yeah and I'm sure that you'll look back on that at the end of the season and look into that in a little bit more depth but one thing your side had today was that encouragement to get back in the game particularly in the first half. Yeah I thought once we conceded I thought then for the next 20 minutes or so we were excellent and um, we controlled the game totally deserved our equaliser uh, and for some reason uh, they changed a little bit but we stopped doing all those good things uh, for the sort of 20 minutes before half time we get a break with the penalty uh, and really that should be enough to win us the game today especially when Salford have to go for it we need to get through sort of 15 20 minutes of the second half keep that lead intact and then the game opens up as it did late on and I thought we had some unbelievable situations to go on with it yeah I suppose uh, we've spoken about this quite a lot in terms of the importance of goal times and Salford second sort of came at a time where they had enough time to sort of scamper and put the pressure on had it not fallen the longer that clock had ticked it had been probably a little bit more easy for your side today yeah definitely and the, the game would have opened up and as we saw it did in the last 10 minutes Salford have to win to stand any chance as well we, you know we, we got the draw and we're still in with a chance of automatic and the playoffs we could get, get all three we were hoping to get the three points and definitely secure the uh, the top seven. We haven't managed that. So it's all on next week. Yeah, it is. Steve McLaughlin got a brace for you today. What was uh, your thinking when he puts the ball down for a free kick behind? Are you thinking, this is in? Yeah, I thought he'd score. I thought he'd score. He's, uh, he's very, very good from dead balls and things. Uh, and for a lad who's played left back, I think he's got a good few goals this season now. Uh, very important players for us and it was a, it was a great free kick because he can go over the wall or he can go down the, the other side which he did uh, and it gives the goalkeeper a problem and the penalty as well I think it just shows the calmness of McLaughlin at times good penalty taker you know uh, he's been on them uh, for the second half of the season um, touch wood he hasn't missed so far um, but, but he was good today I just thought that the front three misfired uh, and that was the reason uh, that we didn't get more goals. Yeah, and then a good save as well from Tom King when, when Oates went one-on-one. -on -one, managed to sort of somehow fumble it away, I don't know how. He just parried it away and as sometimes it drops through a, you know, a, a blue shirt and somebody taps into empty net. We had Jordan in there, we had Matty Longstaff in there and it just dropped in between everybody. Uh, and it was that sort of day. Yeah, it certainly was. No Stephen Quinn uh, today. Again, what's the latest with him? Any chance that he'll be back for Forest Green or now, considering where we are with the potential of playoffs, do you think one more week might be enough to get him back for a final push? No, we will try and get in them. We've got, we're not, not even guaranteed being in them. So if there's any chance of him being fit, he'll play next week. Yeah, and of course, Ollie Clark back on the bench today as well. That was a nice little surprise about an hour before kickoff. Yeah, he's trained a couple of times and we just thought we might need his uh, sort of physicality in there today, which uh, I thought we lacked at times. Uh, we're not a very good team at tackling. Uh, especially in the midfield area uh, and that's one thing he excels in so that's why he was on the bench yeah and a word on the fans today over just over 1200 of them loud as ever uh, again and you saw when they were walking in, i got here about a couple of hours before kickoff they're all on the streets all sort of having a laugh and enjoying their away day and even though the results not perhaps gone for us the way they wanted it to it's still a nice little day out and i'm sure that'll get you over the line on Saturday at home again. Hope so. Uh, it's important as well. We, you know, we've tried everything we could to win the game today. Obviously, uh, but it's important that we didn't lose it as well because that would have meant that we would have had to win next week, uh, which is a different um, to guarantee the playoffs. Which is a different proposition against Forest Green. So, uh, but they've seen the team have a go and I'm just willing that if we could have just got that winner late on. Uh, I think that end would have erupted. I think I already know the answer to this question anyway, but I'm guessing you won't be watching or worrying too much about the, the Portville game because it's all about what you guys do on Saturday. That's it, it's, it's almost irrelevant now. You just know with the fixtures, Bristol Rose, we've got Scunthorpe, so <coughs> that's why you would expect them to uh, get the three points. Uh, we just got to secure a playoff place, and you never know on the final day, funny things happen. Um, but it would take a, an unusual turn of events. A frantic afternoon here. Finally, what's your message to those supporters? Still a, a handful of tickets, not many, left for uh, Saturday at home at the One Course Stadium. It's been a great place for us uh, this year. What's your message to make sure there's not a single seat left? Just come and make the noise that you've made all season, and especially in the last few months, because uh, it really makes a difference. And if we can uh, get close to a sellout, uh, we'll do our best to get in that top seven for you. Always drama with Mansfield Town, isn't there? Yeah, so I'm learning. <laughs> Thanks, Nigel.